What is good, cool, cutter people? That it's your boy, Bubbleland. We're back in the studio. Thank God. Some people thought I moved or like created a whole new setup. Shout out to Whiny Tugboat. Jesus Christ, what a name! Why don't I stream on YouTube? We barely promote these streams as well. The reason is because I kind of like it being more low key. Just the homies, you know? Once you get more viewers in live, like you have a bunch of dumbasses who start, I don't know, just spewing nonsense, people who are uneducated on the, the topics. But anyway, um, Baba Throat. First things first, y'all see the title. We gotta talk about this specific thing, okay? We talk about French Montana expected to sell like firstly 21K with his album. They got amnesia. Well, everybody got amnesia, including himself, because obviously, you know, he might have Alzheimer's. He's living in his own retirement home and doesn't realize that nobody listens to his music anymore. He's sitting there playing the fucking Nintendo 64 while everybody else is playing on PS5. Because, all right. So, it was expected to sell 21K. Then, someone claimed that it was expected to sell 15K. It went down midweek because usually they have a fair projection based on how many streams the album or songs got within the first couple of days. And then it slowly trickles off. So, it's normal if it goes down. 15K, we were already calling it a flop because French Montana, you know, he's a big artist. Unforgettable has billions of views. And we can talk about Season and Trippy Red later. Uh, just keep reminding me in the chat. But now, and I, this this gotta be fake. This gotta be. But chart data, or at least this screenshot states, French Montana, new album, they got amnesia, sold 826 copies first week. People are saying he's selling cardboard, selling paper plate, I said at 15K, he was selling double peanut butter and jelly sandwich. No, he's selling like Ritz crackers or like Girl Scout cookies. Girl Scout, these little Girl Scouts are probably going door to door selling more boxes of cookies than French Montana is selling his album. And he's got a whole big ass label machine behind him promoting him and boosting his his numbers with like YouTube ads. Remember we looked at his Spotify numbers. He had like 6,000 streams on the one hit, the first single for the album, as opposed to the music video had like 1.4 million in like six hours. It's like, how does that work? The discrepancy is just too much. But, and, and Javi Niuni. So I think this is fake though. With all that being said, it's fake, pretty sure. I went to Chart Data's Twitter after seeing this and tried to like, I even went to the search bar, I did the control F trick, trying to figure out like, did they ever report on French Montana on November 26th? I went through every single tweet and they chart, they tweet a lot because Chart Data is just like a bot account. And so it wasn't there. And so I, I, re I really doubt he sold 826. I don't think that his label would let that happen. They would buy 826 albums themselves. They really had to. They'd go on iTunes press purchase, if that's even a thing anymore. I don't even know if iTunes is still in existence. So, yeah, I think it's, I think it's fake, but it's still funny, you know? Um, there was something else I had to say, though. Um, oh, oh, oh. There is a possibility, though. And maybe this is just me speculating too hard, putting on my tinfoil hat bank conspiracy person. And yeah, I saw Cash vs. The World. I saw Adele sale. She had like 838,000. She almost hit a mil in the streaming era. That is absurd. Drake ain't even selling that. Although with views, he sold over a million first week, but that album sales were still a thing back then. So, but Adele is a, is a, is a god in the music industry. She is the music industry. I don't listen to it. Bella tried to turn it on the other day and I was like, turn that shit off. Bella, did you like the Adele album? Yeah, it just sounds like a 40 year old woman. Like, it sounds like you would go to Starbucks, sip on coffee and do your work, that type of music. 
new lucky album december 3rd i'll, I'll definitely be tuning into that so anyway my speculation slash conspiracy theory is that maybe chart data did actually tweet this because this is a screenshot although it's pretty easy to fake so i found it on the playboy cardi subreddit also on twitter some sources were citing that chart data posted this you can just go on uh what's it called uh inspect element and change the words at least on your screen and then screenshot it's pretty easily they're pretty it's pretty easy but i was thinking that maybe chart data did post this and then french montana because if you recall he tried to pull that whole viral stunt where somebody on twitter said you can't name a french montana song and then a week later he like used that saying they got amnesia and it's how it's like how did you create an album that fast so i'm thinking maybe he even paid chart data to take this off of their twitter profile so as to not be such bad publicity for his album because nowadays if you're selling double Ritz cracker with no easy cheese on top, that's a bad look and nobody wants to listen to it. But if you get a mill, say like Adele, everybody wants to hear like, what, what is all this hype about? I gotta listen to it at least one time through, you know? Weakest album rollout ever, for sure, Row the Ruler, for sure.